Hello everyone, this is Data from JGX. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to optimize your video settings to achieve the best result on the battlefield. So first of all, motion blur, you want it on off, because it basically makes everything blurry when you move. It's like, it's as if you have um, a shittier monitor with lower hertz. So you're basically nerfing the hardware you paid for. You should have motion blur on off in every single game and the image will look a lot more detailed. Uh, as for the windowed mode, um, I prefer full window because for me, I just don't crash, I, I don't ever crash when I alt tab. On full screen, sometimes I crash and sometimes it, it just alt tabs a lot slower. For some people, this is not true. For me, it happens. So for me, full window is the best. Motion blur on off. V-Sync, um, it basically, this has to do with, uh, uh, if you put it on on, it basically sets your system so that it waits until an image is completely perfectly formed before sending it on the screen. Instead, if you put it on off, the image could appear um, tiered in some places. But if you put it on on, it's going to wait until the image is fully formed before sending it. So it may actually cause some sort of input lag that you don't want. So V-Sync off. Damage Glow. Damage Glow basically makes a mech shine if you hit it. If you hit an enemy mech, the enemy mech glows. So on maps where there is a lot of fog, like Caustic Valley, Frozen City Old, you put damage glow, you laser someone at one kilometer away, and it starts glowing orange, so you see better the enemy mech. Damage glow always on on. As for how this bright the screen is, you can achieve it by rising the brightness, by rising the gamma. Uh, I find out that lowering the brightness and putting gamma to max, uh, it m lets you see better on the maps overall. So it, it doesn't hurt your eyes, but the image is more clear and sharp. So instead of achieving the, the, the result you want by doing something like this, or, or something like this, it's always better to put the brightness too low and then the gamma too high. Advanced options, effects, this is just bullshit that fries your processor and just sparkles and shit and then you don't see anything when you play, you want it too low. Object detail, same things, particles, this has to do with uh, the, um, how beautiful the LRMs of the, or the PPCs look when you shoot them, if you put it on low, basically the, the PPC tail will look pretty bad. Uh, if you put on medium, there is no difference on the PPCs. If you put it on high, a very high, the PPCs will look beautiful. But when people send LRMs, since the effects are tied, when people shoot LRMs, you're gonna have massive FPS drops. So I suggest particle on low. Post-processing, this is the most stupid effect ever. I'd like to have it to zero if possible, but the minimum is low. If you put post-processing uh, up, it basically adds some sort of fog in the game and you don't see anything. Like uh, mechs at long range appear blurry and you don't see them. You want post-processing on low. Shading, I think it has to do with the shadows on the mechs. Shadows instead is the shadows that the mechs do on the ground and the ground does on the other ground. So you want minimal shadows just because you don't want to overload your CPU because this game just basically works on just one core. Uh, it's work, it works basically just in single core. Um, so you want the shadows not on low, you want them on medium because if there is an enemy mech around the corner, sometimes you may see its shadow and you see the shadow, so you know that he's coming. Texturing. This has to do with the quality of the textures of the mechs. 
I didn't find any difference between high and very high. So I just put it on high. Um, the quality is very noticeable. And if you put it on medium and on low, the quality downgrade uh, on how beautiful your Mac looks, it's going to be massive. So I suggested to keep, keep texturing on high or very high. Even if on very high, I didn't find any difference. Environment, uh, just set it on low. You don't need it. Uh, what may happen uh, with low is that some objects uh, may turn into LOD, so lower version, lower quality version earlier. Uh, you may have more invisible walls, but if you know exactly where they are, then you're going to see the enemy through the walls and you're going to pre-fire them. If you don't know where these walls are, you just shoot into the walls every time and, and you curse God because you're, oh, I'm not raging, blah, blah, blah. But if you know what you're doing, you put this on low and you pre-fire the enemies around the corner, pretty much. If you don't know how to do it, just put it on very high. Anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing, uh, if you put it on off, again, the image is sharper at long range. Uh, if you put anti-aliasing on, on, it basically um, makes the, the borders of the mechs and the items a little bit more blurry. And, uh, and that's, that, that's not good for me. Some, some other comp players play with anti-aliasing on, on. Okay, so this is for the game. Cancel without saving, yes. Uh, there are other settings that are not in the game and that are just equally uh, important. I asked the PGI if what I'm about to tell you is considered uh, not like, like a cheat or something like this. PGI support uh, moderation answered me that what I'm about to tell you is not considered a cheat, so you can do that. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is talk about is talk about reshade. Reshade is downloadable for free at reshade.me. Once you download it for free, you are going to obtain this file here. So what are we trying to do? What we're trying to do is to improve the video quality of this video game. You can actually achieve this in two different ways. Actually, three. The first one is the monitor settings. So you can edit your monitor settings um, in order to add more sharpening, more contrast, blah, blah, blah. But these settings are going to carry over every game you use. And the same settings may be good for one game, but not for another game. So you can do it just by editing your monitor settings, but it is just, it's bad because you would have to change it every time you change a game. The second way to do it is the NVIDIA filters from the NVIDIA driver, GeForce Experience and everything. You can, you can set those per game. Uh, most comp players use those just at the NVIDIA filters. Personally, I prefer the reshade. So go on the site reshade.me and download this reshade setup. Open it. Click here to select game. Mac Warrior client. DirectX this one. You, these are bundles of effects. 99% of this is just bullshit. It's like cinematic stuff to do videos. You don't need them to see better in the game. You don't need all of this. What you need is this. So you click here. Uh, you put this black stuff because we're going to need... You don't put the tick, you put the black uh, color in here uh, because we need to choose one by one the effects, legacy standards effects. Okay. So we, again, we don't need to download all of this. We just need, need a few. And the ones we need, this is just my old preset, the one that I'm gonna put later on. 
adaptive sharpen, clarity, curves, fake HDR, fine sharp, FXAA, we don't really need it. But we just put it, high pass sharpen, lift gum again, Luma sharpen, Technicolor, Tone Map, and Vibrance. Okay. So it is actually installed. The first thing you do, you launch the game. It tells you that it's actually installed if you see a bar appearing on the top right now okay so now my, basically my, my reshade is loaded. So this is with, this is without. We're gonna go on the battlefield to show one by one the meaning of this stuff. The most important thing here is Luma Sharpen and Adaptive Sharpen because it basically makes uh, the objects more detailed. Look at this. Look at the border of these rocks. Adaptive Sharpen on. Look at the quality of the objects here in the back. Look at this rock here. And Luma Sharpen kind of reinforces it quite a bit. You can tone the power of the effect here. Sharpening strength is what you have to play with. Don't play with sharpening limit because it basically, it fucks up everything. Yeah, that does Air work. Strike online. Nice. Strange. Adaptive sharp and again you can play with how much of this effect you, you want. This is actually working. Look at the rock here on the on the right. Uh, clarity, uh, don't play with this too much. It actually may it plays with the contrast at range. Look at the bridge, for example. But if you exaggerate with this clarity strength, you put it too high, um, it creates problems when you shoot the lasers and you blind yourself every time you shoot. Uh, you can put it higher, like this, but then when you shoot, it's too bright. It may actually be too bright and shiny. Vibrance, it has to do with the colors. Plays with the colors. You can, we can tweak them. Um, it's here. By how much vibrance you want, it's this one. Uh, tone map, it plays with the gamma, with the exposure, how much light there is, the saturation, how much color there is, bridge and default, you don't want to use them. You can play with these depending on what you want. Curves, it's basically the contrast. You want it set on both the Luma and Chroma, and then go with the contrast. Um, higher contrast 
it's usually good on maps with the low visibility, like on, uh, for example, Caustic Valley. If you put contrast to max, you see better. But on uh, regular maps, if you put contrast to max, you see worse because you're going to blind yourself with the light of your own, own lasers or cannons. Um, you could actually save a preset and load a different preset every time you change map. It's pretty, you know. So I, I just keep one preset that it works more or less for everything and I go with that. If I increase the contrast too much, the lasers are too shiny and I can't see shit when I shoot. actually put it to 400 and go from here instead so this was the reshade so basically you make your game look a lot nicer this target acquired and one last thing you should know um, is the user CFG uh, there is a guy named Mr. Vad on the internet. You can f look for him. He has posted um, his user CFG. And uh, it basically helps with performance and stuff like that. Uh, to have a user CFG, you need to put it here. Prana Games and Corona Online. You need this one. Tuning.cfg, uh, to, to actually edit it, you do like this, txt, okay, and you just write exec user cfg, like this, and then you put it back to cfg, and this is basically Mr. Vad's user cfg with some modifications done by myself. Uh, he basically explains what he's doing. And then this is his explanation because what he has, this kind of dot and comma, doesn't work. And what doesn't have anything in the front works. Uh, so the system will just read stuff that doesn't have dot and comma in the front. So he puts dot and comma to explain you what he's doing. And this thing is actually doing the stuff. So you just look for Mr. Vad on the internet and you just go through this one by one depending on your system uh, it helps with performance on uh, shitty machines that need help um, this ones are important I told you before the fact about uh, invisible walls and stuff what you could do is that you could actually put environment on low and then activate these two settings that I'm not activating because I have dot and comma in the front. And what these two settings do, basically they force high res, long range meshes and textures of the rocks. So basically you still full res rocks even at low res environment. For example, even the, the quality of the Stargate or in Tourmaline Desert, uh, the quality of the Stargate, you see the all the parts of the Stargate even at like six, seven hundred meters rather than having to approach at 100 meters to see it perfectly. It, it helps with the looks of the games if you activate these two values. Uh, this basically helps with the particles so they don't destroy your processor. And this stuff, you just have to read his uh, his suggestions. And that's pretty much it. I think that without... I think that you just, you could actually use this stuff in the game to improve your experience. And, uh, and overall, to put less stress on your CPU. So user CFG. And uh, I just help, I just, Hope that this helps you guys. So best luck to everyone and see you next time.